so as far as machines like ours are concerned or I, I would i call them traditional vending machines yeah. so in the traditional line of vending machines we have uh, all combinations possible so you talk about a standard combo machine which is the one that we would sell in more than 95% of the cases all right yes this is a machine which uh, you know holds uh, snacks and cold drinks both and it can be configured to hold various products which is what we do before we supply the machine to the clients and the clients can even do this at a later stage by themselves that is the most common one other than that we have machines which have elevators which is you know meant for uh, items which can be easily damaged uh, upon dropping like in a regular machine the product drops fragile items fragile, fragile items exactly fragile. so you could even have glass bottles in this elevator machine and they can be dispensed very easily without breaking or any damage same goes for let's say plastic uh, loose loose plastic uh, products i would say like let's say a pouch of milk for example which can be damaged easily yes. it can work for that machine it can work for pastries which are packed in like a plastic uh, packaging or something even uh, it will work for fresh products correct. now the healthy market is coming up mm. so in that case we suggest an elevator machine so that the product is not dropping from a height fruit jo salads jo aajkal wo hote hain usme fruit boxes uh, salad bowls yes. things like that so th these concepts are also coming up and we are also seeing more movement uh, in the middle east region where we operate so we are working on a few specific projects there so give you to give you an example elevator was one but the machines can also have a conveyor belt instead of the coils that you see okay. to you know adjust to uh, items which are not uh, very you know they don't have like a standard packaging uh, so for those kind of items like the milk pouch for example yes. something like that you can put on a conveyor or if you have a odd shaped box that can also go there which will never fit in a coil or maybe coil it won't yeah, maybe it won't get dispensed properly okay so a uh, conveyor is there then we can have machines with different sizes of screens the, these could be touch screens or this could be a purely advertising screen okay and all the combination that i just mentioned they can be mixed and matched to customize a uh, different type of a machine for anyone uh, one one example is that we can have machine with uh, any size touch screen with a conveyor with a elevator with partly coils partly conveyor all these permutation combinations are possible we can even have a machine which can have a super cooling uh, temperature sub uh, super cooling uh, what do you say condens compressor so that can go up to let's say 4 3 or 4 degrees in the whole machine so if you have a product which requires this again like a dairy product or something which absolutely needs this temperature it can be placed even on the top of the machine and still have the same temperature in a regular snack and drink machine you don't have this it's the coolest on the bottom and on the top it's a little less so these kind of uh, projects also we do plus uh, i think ashish can also share light on the other verticals that we operate on even, except the food and drinks uh, now even we have started a pp kind of vending machine that is used for industrial purpose where you can have your gloves ear plugs masks goggles everything can be stored inside the machine so it becomes easy for the industry people to just take the product from the machine itself so they have the complete tracking as the employee will be just coming to the machine tapping the cart and taking out the product so they have the back end database kaun sa product kab gaya hai kisne kitna consume kiya hai complete mismanagement nahi hoga so this year in fact last year we started a bit of you know exploring these other segments and this year we are going to be a lot more aggressive on the non food verticals because food and uh, drink machines are going as usual or uh, increasing day by day but these other verticals are still unexplored in most of the cases especially in our country so we want to really highlight these things that we can support you know Uh, what ashish was saying for the pp machine the right uh, application i would say would be a factory environment in a manufacturing unit mm -hmm. where you know the workers are constantly using these things every day uh, how the machine helps them is that you know they don't have to go to the store fill out the paperwork uh, for even like a small uh, pair of gloves or something they want they they have a machine near to them where they are working they can just use their id cards dispense the product and start using it so it saves time uh, creates more efficiency it's it's beneficial in that sense to the company itself and it's easier for the workers also yeah so same kind of thing is now replicated for it peripherals stationary items and correct. other stuff as well correct same procedure like pp but even for office corporate environment this can be replicated correct okay we do projects for stationary machines so okay. we work with big banks 
okay. and other uh, companies where they'll have stationary machines put across you know their office building and the employees can use their id cards again or they can have different systems where they can have a barcode reader on the machine so if their employee id has a barcode they can scan that and get all the data that ashish was explaining in that environment it it will help in a way that in a large bank let's say a multinational bank or a foreign bank who has many buildings as their office spaces thousands and thousands of employees what they are doing is that every month for small things like let's say you work at a bank and you say i want a pen so you'll have to you know tell your superior or fill out some requisition or something yeah, yeah. which allows you to you know get pens yes and other stationery okay. so we were told in the particular client's case that they were filing more than 10000 purchase orders a month just for stationery 10000 so you can imagine the number of man hours being wasted behind just this process every month so what they wanted was after pushing, putting these machines we got feedback after a month or two they said we have come down to 4000 pos already they, they can file larger pos at once have their team load up the machines and they are still getting data of each employee exactly. they don't need to get a request from each employee and then give it to them they can just get a consolidated data from the machines mm, the man hours involved get reduced to a very yeah. Exactly. Yeah, but that's a very big jump 10000 hours is either yeah. 4000 yeah, and this is just by adding one or two machines at each of their locations span in India. If they expand, like if there are multiple uh, machines across their offices, it's going to yeah, reduce even further. There is one other thing that we've uh, not started to work on. We have already supplied some, which is a locker based machine. So how this locker based machine works is that if you have items, this is again mainly for the factory environment where they are using the PP and tools and things. So if they have an item which is too big to be placed in the regular machine, then we, we can create a customized locker for them according to the sizes of the products and they can dispense the bigger products from the locker unit. And this locker unit can be a standalone locker unit which is used with their ID cards or any system or it can be added on to the main machine which is a regular size machine and they can be used, uh, both use be, uh, sorry, both can be used in tandem with each other. Even this locker machine can be used for IT peripherals. Correct. Suppose there is a big keyboard or yeah. a laptop in someone's machine. But work from home culture is like custom employee comes, tap it, laptop, and deposit it back. You can do anything.